Hello everyone, I am your host Jessica Beck. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today you are going to get a sample answer um, about part two, describing a gift you gave someone. I've been hearing from a lot of students lately that they are wondering about this topic, that they got this on the exam and they weren't sure how to build this out for two minutes. Now, gifts and presents. Guys, this comes up in part one also. In fact, go to our website, ielts.allearsenglish.com. Lindsay and I recorded a podcast episode with sample part one answers related to birthdays. That is episode 572, so check that out, you guys. Also, on this channel, there's a vocabulary um, episode about eight plus vocab for gifts and presents. So. We already have some resources for you, and today you are going to get a sample part two answer. Okay, guys, before I get into that, I want you to comment below this video, um, and then I can see your interaction. What was the last gift you gave someone? Go ahead and type that in, you guys. What is the last present you gave someone? All right, I am curious to see your answers. So I did take notes before I'm speaking to you today, so it is as authentic as it would be on the real exam. Okay, uh, got my timer here. Describe a special gift you gave someone. Start. Um, oh my gosh, I love this topic. It is so positive and I love presents, both giving and receiving. I challenge anybody to deny the fact that they love presents, at least getting presents. It's not selfish, it's awesome. So anyway, back to the topic. Um, you know, the first thing that came to mind was a book series that I got my son. We recently moved into an awesome new place. And before we moved, we had been reading books by Raul Dahl. Now, I didn't read books by him when I was younger, and I don't know why, because as far as like children's literature goes, even YA literature goes, he is, it's not just classic, but it is amazing, the vocabulary he uses. The Lexus in these children's stories is phenomenal. So, long story short, my son and I have read uh, the BFG, we read James and the Giant Peach, and now we're reading Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And so while we were reading the books one night before bed, um, my son said that he would love to own these because he wants to revisit these stories and have these chapter books on hand so he can read them at any time. So of course, uh, teacher mother mind that I have, I instinctively filed that away and I said, okay, well, you are going to get those books. So as a surprise present to him, I bought him a um, 15 book series of Raw Doll books and I placed it on his shelf. I didn't tell him about it. Upon arriving home, he noticed these on his shelf and his eyes grew as wide as saucers. He was so excited. And to see this passion and excitement about books and words in a seven-year-old, you can't ask for anything more. Okay, that was a little bit beyond two minutes. So of course I prepared more than I could fit in into two minutes, but I will put all my notes for the sample answer below this video. So just go underneath, click show more. So guys, I would love to see your comments on this episode. What is the last gift that you gave someone and why did you love it? Why did you choose it? What did they think of it? Let's share those ideas with each other in this community. Okay guys, if you are not a subscriber, hit subscribe and if you are are already a subscriber then thank you so much and i will see you in the next video remember guys go to allearsenglish.com forward slash insider for your free ielts masterclass with me okay guys i hope you have a delightful and lovely rest of the week and i'll see you in the next lesson bye guys
Get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app featuring exclusive bonus video lessons with Jessica, Lindsay, and Michelle. Get the app now at allearsenglish.com forward slash app.